thought, man, why don't I just tell people what I'm really doing? So there's a couple things that I'm doing. One is obviously I'm shooting a lot of video right now. In fact, this is how my hair was when I woke up. That's the benefit of having the gentleman that you're gonna be shooting video with also be your hairstylist. Barber. Just trying to get my setup right, right? And so one of the things that I really wanted to do was I wanted to create a course for shooters. I spent a lot of time learning about exposure, shutter speed, different settings, learned how to custom white balance, and I made the decision that I was gonna learn one camera. For me, it's all about the process. I believe that skills can be learned. It's my personal belief that you have to enjoy the journey. You have to become obsessed. Like, you know, I heard a, I heard that Dr. Dre did like 273 songs during the pan what? pandemic. If Dr. Dre can do 273 songs during the pandemic, I should be able to record 30 videos from my iPhone, right? And so it's, it's, it's falling, why does he do it? And if you do 273 songs, that means you have to write, create beats, edit, all of that stuff. That means he puts a lot of time in. And so therefore, he's, he doesn't have the same challenges and mistakes. He gets throughput to the goal because he's put in the work, right? That's my first point. My first point is, is you gotta fall in love with the process and you gotta be obsessed. Now, point number two is that, like, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you gotta break it down. So for me, being on YouTube, like, you gotta learn YouTube. You gotta learn how to know what content you're gonna create. You gotta learn how to shoot. You gotta learn how to edit. You have to learn how to write copy. There's a lot of different components. So you gotta prioritize that, right? And then you have to practice. You have to take action. With action comes clarity. If I make a video and it's not good, and I take that as a learning opportunity, not a fail, which I did, then I can make the next video and make it better. And then over time, effort over time gets you the result. The last thing for me is, is, is it a good strategy? Well, videos, you know, somebody might watch this video once it's edited and posted five years from now. It might be you. But the truth is, is I can be anywhere in the world. I could be doing something else, but this is captured in time. And so I'm learning a skill set of, you know, shooting videos, but also I have a daughter inside that's four months old. Well, guess what? She's four months old now. She's gonna be five years old. There's a lot of things that are gonna happen in life. I could go back and watch these videos. I can be reminded. My kids can watch the videos. And so for me, it's a vector to the goal. It's a strategy because it's leverage. It's an asset. It'll be, once it's produced, it can be watched in any continent, Europe, Australia, the United States, any country, Canada, Mexico, any state, Birmingham, Alabama. It can be watched simultaneously, 500 times, 50,000 views. That's the power, right? So like, it's leverage to get a message out. And the message that I'm trying to send is that you have to define your life by strategy. What skills are you gonna learn this year? How are you gonna become more valuable in the marketplace? And how are you gonna align it to something that you're passionate about? How are you gonna get better? It's not about, it's not about accomplishing a goal, it's about who you have to become to accomplish the goal. I remember in Think and Grow Rich, it says when you start making money, it's gonna come in so much abundance that you almost don't understand where it's been. And, and for me, I remember not being able to order a pizza. I, I remember thinking a $100,000 car was a, a lot of money. I remember thinking two, a $200,000 car was a lot of money. I remember thinking a $500,000 car was a lot of money, right? If it's a car that I want, whether it's 100, 200, 500,000, really what is the comparison? You know, if it took me a year to make 100,000, that's not the same as making 100,000 in a month, and it's sure ain't the same as making 100,000 in a week. So for me, it's the exchange of what I had to do in order to produce the result to get the car. It's not about the money that was my perception that was established when I had to mow a yard for $20 the benefits I think of, of also shooting video. You're documenting your progress, you're being able to see that progress. You're being able to get better every single day. To me, that's what it's all about. Every single day, learning, teaching, learning, teaching, get better. Now, uh, a couple things that I learned today was I found this cool dual microphone set that I'm gonna purchase. I've probably bought like 15 different things and I'm gonna shoot a bunch of videos about them just to share with you. But yeah, the Sony ZV-1, I'll put a link in the description, best, vlogging camera ever if you're seeing how I'm walking right now and there's little few bumps um, I'm shooting this with a stabilizer but yeah it's a must-have for any serious videographer